female right now. Yeah, and, and number one, right? Number one, number two, number two, number two right? Then you can blaze, right? I got paperwork on him right now. I got to look in on him. He told me, Prince, just even one. Mm. He took it. He took the fast on us. Oh, that glaze gives, dude? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, he, he took that cat down. He, he, he put my girl in jail, right? Really? Give her three years. Look, he got three years. Fuck with, the, with this dumb nigga. Fuck with cat. He got three years. He solved the movie murder. Everybody, y'all heard him. He's saying right now, where's that I? Put the feds on him. That I, you know what I'm saying, right now, testify, gave up the Supreme team. Okay, let's get to the point, man. All right, Bimmy. When I came to Queens from 87 to 88, all right? How the hell can I take y'all guys down? Y'all was broke. Y'all, the Supreme team was broke. Prince was in jail. Prem was in jail. And guess what? Here it is, Green Eye Bourne was in jail. So right now, if you look at the org chart, guess who it was? It was Preem, right? His first assistant was Prince, then Green Eye Bourne. Here it is, Baby Wise and Black Just was before you. But guess what? When I was out there, folk, and look at the timeline, I was out there from 87 up until November 88, all right? And when I was out there, the Supreme team was fucking broke. Okay, they was broke. Cause if they wasn't broke, guess what? Here it is. I wouldn't have to be looking out for Prince, taking care of certain situation that Bimmy and Just supposed to be taking care. They didn't have no damn money. So once again, when I, like I said, on the strip, them say a fat cat used to take care of Prince. Bingo. Where was Rich Bimmy at? Where was Black Just? They was driving lease cars with their girlfriend. They wasn't making no damn money. Okay, let's get to another thing. Why Green Eye Born, Nathan May, he was in jail then fighting a murder charge. Why a nigga from Brooklyn taking care of the Supreme Team? Why a nigga from Brooklyn taking care of Supreme Assistant Gerald Prince Miller? And right now, his chief enforcer, Green Eye Born, Nathan May. Why? Help me to understand that, Bim. Let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to talk about right now was, guess what? I snitch on the Supreme Team. The Supreme Team, when I was out there, were dead broke. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't have nothing. And right now, let's sit back and think about it. When I first came to Queen, what did you do? You, probably being a CI back then, went to them and say, this is this killer named Brian Glaze Gibbs. Named, he's crazy. He's over here. We got to get him. Help me to understand that. And let's go deeper than that, Bim. Like I say, what deal? Like, first of all, I never met Preem, okay? How can you tell him somebody you don't know? Second of all, I only talked to Prince. We all was round table. Fat Cat, Pappy, Prince, Preem, myself, and Bug Out. We was all round table members. But once again, like I said right now, Prince was in jail. Only conversation we ever had was over the phone. We never committed no murder. We never did no drug transaction. We never exchanged. Only money came from my pocket to help him and his course out because you and Just was broke. Y'all didn't have a damn dime. So don't give me that nonsense. But I, I told on who? I told on the Supreme Team. How can you tell them? Help me to help you, man. You know what? Let's take it deeper than that, man. Even right now, you going on listening and tell it, no, bro. Think about this. They should have never made a documentary about the Supreme Team. Why? Let's sit back and think about it. When they kill the Colombians and they chop up the damn bodies, when that happened, 
Where was I? I was already in jail. So being I was in jail, what the hell could I tell them? Y'all told on each other. But where were y'all getting all this money from? Y'all couldn't even buy no drugs. Y'all had to rob and kill, what, three, four Colombian chop their body for three keys? But once again, y'all was the world famous Supreme Team. Y'all was doing so great. Nah, man, let's the people know the damn truth, okay? Y'all got a hell of a damn name. And only speaking of 87, 88, when I was out there. When I was out there, 87, 88, y'all didn't make no damn money. I made more money. A nigga from Brooklyn made more money in Queens than y'all was making, okay? Otherwise, you wouldn't have me assistant Prince. You wouldn't have me assistant Green Eye Bond. But I told you, we never committed a crime. We never sold drugs, never exchanged money. Come on, dumbass. Get your facts straight. Bring one person, like I'm gonna say, I testify against them. I went to the grand jury on them. You're not gonna happen. But like you say is right now, I don't give a damn what you say. Oh, I got paperwork on this and that. I put Cookie in jail. Cookie, we, we, we all had 1,100 hours of wiretap phone conversation, all right? She was the bread and butter for cat, taking care of transaction. Come on, all right? Now, I put cat in jail. Cat was already in jail, you dumbass. But once again, you wanna get up here and you wanna try to spin it. Stick to the fact. Let's stick to the fact. Right now is guess what? I sat down with the United States government and the only thing that's floating around about me is a 5K1 letter. And in that letter, what they talk about, sitting down having conversation or I gave up information, they asked me a question. I couldn't tell them nothing about you, Bim, cause we never did nothing. We never did anything. So don't give me that nonsense. You know what, let's take it a deep, let, let, let's take it a step further. But once again, right now, why did Young Guns and them shot up your mother's house? Why did they shot your brother Joe? You know why? Because once again, you were CI, music, Bimmy, for years getting paid for it. And you know what? You told on Troy. And just so happened when your name slipped out, all hell was gonna be paid. And you know what, right now, so they won't kill your mother, kill your brother, or kill nobody in your family, you went down there to Troy lawyer and made the affidavit. That's what happened. So don't give me that nonsense. Don't talk that talk if you can't walk that walk. You cartoon character. Fucking look like Howdy Doody. Hey, hit the like button, subscribe, share. The real Brian Glaze kids. If I can change, anybody can change, folks. One love.